Blue Lock Chapter 238 starts with Bastard Munich who are going for the last counter-attack of the game and we can see Ayori who is in possession of the ball, attacking together with Kunigami to his right and Ness to his left. Nico is in front of Ayori and Nico is impressed by the speed Bastard Munich is suddenly coming with. Meanwhile we can see Izagi who is trying to bring himself into position to be able to help Ayori but Ario is right behind him and marking him. Izagi now sees that Kaiser is planning something as well and waiting for the right moment to steal the ball and chance of Izagi but Izagi is well aware of that and therefore we can see Izagi using meta vision once again and moving away from him. Hayori is struggling to get past Nico at first but Nico as well is struggling with Hayori's insane movements and technique which makes it very difficult for Nico to follow Hayori's steps. Hayori and Nico are in a direct one versus one situation and Nico is sure that Hayori will try to get past him to his left side, which is why he decides to go for a tackle on the left, but Hayori outsmarted Nico by doing a feint and with a quick inverted elastico, Hayori gets past Nico to the surprise of Ario and Aiko. Hayori is now going for the final decision and plans to shoot on the goal but Lorenzo saw it coming and is going for a steal before Hayori gets his shot on target. Hayori's shot gets blocked by Lorenzo's knee but Hayori once again is able to keep the ball under control which is in the air next to him by using his outside foot and with a back heel flick Hayori is able to get past Lorenzo and Nico. Guys, Hayori is insane. He's by far one of the most technical gifted players in Blue Lock when it comes to pure technique and ball control and his sense of flair is just unbeatable. Suddenly Baru is running towards Hayori as well, screaming at Hayori that he read everything, that he will be the one to stop him. We see Izagi now, who is still beside Hayori and Izagi suddenly accelerates super fast to get past every Uber's defender and bringing himself into a position where Hayori can reach him with a decisive pass but before Hayori can do that, he still needs to get past Baru, but Izagi believes in him and knows that he will beat Baru as well. Meanwhile Ario and Aiko are chasing Izagi and Kaiser and the four are waiting for Ayori's pass in front of the Uber's goal. Ayori once again does some quick feints to out dribble Baru and uses a small space that Baru left to cross the ball towards Izagi. Izagi is in full flow mode now and we can see Aiko kinda panicking. Aiko is panicking guys as the cross is about to reach Izagi who is running towards the Uber's goal and there is no Uber's defender left who can stop Izagi from shooting. And guys, the last four panels are insane. So like I just said, Izagi is running towards the Uber's goal and Hayori's cross is landing right in front of him and Izagi doesn't even hesitate for one single second. He's instantly going for a volley direct shot and smashes the ball into the top corner of the goal. You can see Izagi running towards Hayori and both scream at each other and celebrate the final goal of this match in happiness and this is how chapter 238 comes to an end. So where do I start? First of all the match between Ubers and Bastet Munich has finally come to an end now with Bastet Munich winning their third NEL match out of four matches which is an incredible stat and shows that maybe Noah isn't such a bad master after all. Because yeah, tactically Noah by far is the worst mentor as he hardly gives his players advice or instructions but under Noah the players are able to grow individually much faster as they have to think and play on their own and this is what the NEL is about, to find your ego and grow with it. Furthermore, man, insane performance once again by Harori, who should get some great offers now. I can't wait to see the updated market values and see what kind of offers Harori will get as he is the most gifted blue player when it comes to pure technique and his passing skills are insane as well. The only thing that he's missing is his motivation but I'm sure that he will continue to play in the future and won't retire and I'm sure that he will stick to Izagi's side as he wants to make Izagi the best striker in the world which is his new ego now and therefore I can imagine that they will both play for the same club like Reo and Nagi will do I guess. I think in general this match was great for every Blue player that was a part of this match as everyone had their moments except for Kunigami and I'm sure that Kunigami's performance might get analyzed in the future and become a topic after the match as well. But we all know that he will cook in the match against PXG and Shido. Oh and by the way, Izagi won his bet against Kaiser as he was able to score more goals than him. Alright guys, what do you think about this week's chapter? Let me know in the comments below and as always, stay safe and have a nice day.